workshop, again, is designed to teach you how to work smarter, not harder, so you can build a business where clients come to you. And that's like the dream of every business owner. And my goal is to help my clients add purpose to everything that they do. So Google Places, Google My Business, whatever you want to call it, there's so many different ways you can take it. It's changed so much. It's been through so many different iterations. Um, if you can use Google Plus in a way where you can actually get more eyeballs on whatever it is you're creating, you win the game. It's all about eyeballs. It's all about telling people what you want them to do once they land on your site. What you want to remember with social media is that it is, it is only, it's a medium, it's a middleman to get to your website. Your website is your mothership. So you want to be able to think about what's happening post-click. They land on your Google Plus page, fantastic. What do you want them to do afterwards? Okay, so those are the kinds of things I want you to think about later on. So um, again, some of the companies I've worked with, you know, they are on some of the more corporate scale, but I have worked with, a, I mean, I do work with a lot of small local businesses, and you know, and one of them actually was Living Social. Uh, some of you guys might know Living Social is the deal company online. Well, when I first started with them, they were less than a year old. They had had really good success in the United States, so they decided to try things out in Toronto. They failed miserably, and a lot of people don't know that. However, and, and the reason why they didn't know that is because basically, you cannot talk to Americans the same way that you talk to Canadians. You cannot sell to Canadians the same way that you sell to Americans. Okay? It's completely different. How they buy, how you sell, it, it's, it's like night and day. So when we first started with, uh, with Living Social, they hired me as a marketing writer, and we had two other salespeople, and that was it. That was the team for Western Canada. So. Vancouver was essentially a last ditch effort because Toronto had failed so miserably. So in six months, we actually built Vancouver up into a really, really nice little miniature globe on the on the western part of North America. So they actually took our mall to Vancouver and they let's see everybody. And they and they moved it over into Calgary, into Toronto, and we gave Toronto, sorry, and we gave LA and New York a runner for their money. So we didn't do anything magical to make that happen. It was just really simple sales, really good logic, and just knowing who the heck our target market was. There's no magic wands when it comes to online marketing or when it comes to SEO, when it comes to Google. It's about putting out really good content, knowing what to do with that content, and then structuring it in a way that speaks to your ideal target market, but also is structured in a way that Google can read it and really quickly know exactly what you're an expert on. Okay? That's your goal, the creative and the technical, being able to balance those two elements to rank as high as you can, get as many eyeballs onto your site, and then to sell, or get them to commit to an action that you want them to commit to. Does that make sense? Show you, Show you more. So, when you're on Google My Business, you get to control how you show up on the biggest search engine in the world across Google searches. So with Google My Business, you can actually figure out or manage your reviews, um, figure out how you look on a map, and you can also control what photos people view you on, because photos can be indexed too. So have you guys ever done an organic search? Let's say you search for Italian restaurants in Vancouver, and you have a lot of restaurants in Vancouver who are paying a lot of money to these SEO companies to get ranked on page one. Well, what they forget is that when you're actually doing an organic search, maps show up first. You get a couple of ads up top, a couple of organic searches, and then you have about 10 map searches. You know the little bubble, A, B, C, D? Those people didn't pay at all. To be, on, to, to be on page one. But they did fill out a really, really good Google Plus page. Okay? And they put their maps up, and they put their images up. That's how they ended up on page one. And they didn't spend a single dime on it. Um, you want to be able to examine your performance and how your ideal target market behaves with your brand online. Okay? You don't build something that you like. You build something that your ideal target market likes. And then you test to see what works. That is how small businesses work these days. You learn by doing perfect through trial and error. Google Plus is no different. Google My Business is no different. 